Hi guys, you can sort of understand why Nadine Doris, when she was Culture Secretary, wanted to sell off Channel 4. It provides high quality journalism while truly holding politicians to account and informing the public. Here Kieran Jenkins, one of the channel's reporters, blows a massive hole in Rishi Sunak and the Tory government's lies over oil and gas and how increasing licences to extract more will help ordinary British people during the cost of living crisis. Have a listen to this. Well, first of all, we often talk about oil and gas together, but there are big differences in how they're produced, what we do with it all, and where it all goes. So let's look at what happens, first of all, to all that oil being pumped out of the North Sea. How much of it stays here in the UK? Well, about 20% of North Sea oil is for domestic UK consumption. Most of it, 80%, is exported worldwide into the international market. And that's why the government's critics say we're already extracting more oil than we need and selling it overseas, and they argue that's no good for the planet. Now, let's turn to gas. Most homes in the UK are heated with gas. And Rishi Sunak says rather than importing it from hostile states and playing into Vladimir Putin's hands, he wants more gas to come from Britain and claims this will bring down bills. Now, the UK is a net importer of gas, but even before the invasion of Ukraine, Russia provided just 4% of our gas in the UK. Most of our gas imports come from, not very hostile, Norway. So, household energy bills soared, not because of Russian imports, but because the price we pay for gas is set by traders on the global market. And that price increased after Russia invaded Ukraine. So would extracting more gas from the North Sea deliver Rishi Sunak's promise today of British energy from Britain at a cheaper cost? Well, he can't force companies that extract North Sea gas to sell it in the UK, nor at a discounted price. And many North Sea projects are backed by multinational companies from countries including Norway, at the United Arab Emirates, and China. And the gas they extract is traded internationally at international prices. And right now, there's nothing stopping them uh, exporting this gas overseas from the UK. So while Rishi Sunak argues that extracting more oil and gas will increase homegrown supplies and bring down prices, that's clearly in dispute. And we asked the government to clarify or provide the data to back up these claims. They did not. Instead, they referred us to the Prime Minister's comments today in Aberdeen, which, of course, repeat those very claims. I like how he says that the claims are in dispute. Um, no, what Rishi Sunak is doing here is clearly lying. And when the government were asked for data, well, they referred <laughs> journalists to Rishi Sunak's statement. So they have no data. So they're pulling these figures out of their behind. They have no data to back up their claim, and their claim is that, well, we, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to extract British gas and British oil um, from British territories and sell it to the British people at a lower rate. And obviously that's not possible. Unless Rishi Sunak is going to set up a British company that's going to go to the North Sea, extract oil and gas, and sell it to the British people. But there's a reason why you have companies, uh, countries like Norway uh, China and the Ar United Arab Emirates doing this because it requires huge amounts of investment, huge amounts of money. And I don't think Rishi Sunak has that sort of change lying around at the moment. So once again, this is, an, this is a serious problem where you have a prime minister lying to the public and knowing that he can get away with it because the right-wing press will not question it. Thank God for Channel 4. Thank God for real journalism. Because Sunak knows, like Boris Johnson before him and Liz Truss as well, that they could lie to the public and eventually some people would find out, the people who are actually sceptical. People who are like, hmm, is he telling the truth? But if you rely on the Daily Mail, the Express, the Sun, if you rely on GB News or Talk TV or certain other outlets, you're going to be force-fed. You're going to be force-fed this sort of rubbish about how, yeah, we're going to extract our gas from our territory and sell it to our people at a lower rate. It's taking the public for mugs. A little bit of investigation 
send, puts you on the right track. You understand that most of the oil is being exported and um, the main imports are coming from Norway, not from Russia. Now, will Rishi Sunak be challenged on that? I don't know. The government can't be challenged because they haven't provided any data. They have they have nothing. All they can say is Rishi Sunak is in Aberdeen promoting this. It's going to create um, jobs. It's going to reduce energy bills for people. It, obviously, these are all lies, but he knows he can get away with it. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.